All right, guys. So, Clean Price Gaming uh, makes a video saying that Fortnite is killing everything. Is Fortnite killing everything? I don't know. That's a hard one. Um, I don't think Fortnite is necessarily killing everything. I just feel like it's like the Minecraft of this generation or this gaming uh, era. You know, when Minecraft came out, everyone was playing it. PC sale, PC game sales went down, you know, because they were like, okay, there's this $25 game and you can do infinite amounts of different things in it. You can herd cattle, you can build homes, you can play with other players, you can survive in this. It, it really, Fortnite really does have a lot of qualities that uh, Minecraft had. Now, Save the World, who knows, probably would have been the same as Minecraft in a way, just with better graphics and you using guns and things like that. It probably would have been different. Uh, but Fortnite seriously is the Minecraft of this generation in terms of, how do you explain it? In terms of how it's just fleshed out and put together. Like there's certain pieces of the Minecraft formula and Fortnite, especially the building aspect. Now you can only choose between three materials, whereas in Minecraft you had infinite different amounts of materials. You could even make your own different materials. But um, yeah, Fortnite is is Fortnite's different, man. Fortnite is different because it's like super fast-paced building defense type shooter in a huge map environment where you drop in and there's a bunch of players. And that adds some excitement to it because it's like, it's not just resting on, oh, you go around and shoot people. Kind of like, people hate me when I say it, but there's a reason why Fortnite's killing PUBG. PUBG, honestly, was just like, you just drop in the map, you know, with a bunch of players, you use cars and stuff to drive around and you, you know, you hide and things like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. And you kill other enemies on the map and then, you know, the areas will close off as, you know, the game, the match goes along. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But what Fortnite did to this formula was add a super, super robust uh, building and gathering materials type um, format. And then on top of the crazy emotes and cosmetic items and the style of the game and how it's easy going and for every it's easy for everyone to play it and see, I mean PUBG kind of just looked bland. Another you know uh, survivorless military shooter, a tactical shooter, you know, like with no real depth. Where Fortnite, that building aspect adds a lot of depth, and then. The weapons can be crazy, like the boogie grenade where you can make your enemies dance and you have these crazy emotes and like I said, you can spray can on walls and um, it's just and like you can play at Thanos. Like it, it's just so much groove going for Fortnite with their style and how they do things and Epic has done a good job of not even taking themselves seriously. And like I said, that building, um, the, the building kind of adds this tower defense to it in this massive map with a hundred players it's kind of cool you know you can build these massive buildings you can do crazy moves like jump off a building and then build a floor under you as you're in mid-air so to stop yourself from getting fall damage and then trying to shotgun that guy over there that's building the tower in front of you and then you gotta build some stairs up to him to try to get to him it's just like a, the, the the battles are so different. You never know how the battles are going to be because you don't know how your enemy, enemy is going to build against you. It adds a sense of unpredictability in every battle. And I don't think people understand that's the appeal of Fortnite in a way. When you drop in and you really engage in a, sh in a battle, like you literally like you do not know what the next guy's going to do to make sure he can get a one-up on you. You don't know if he's going to to build a whole thing. You don't know if he's gonna throw a port for it. You don't know what he has, you know? You don't know if this guy may have an LMG, you, you know? And he may build stairs on top of you, jump down in front of you, shoot you with an LMG. You don't know how his approach is gonna be. He might build a couple walls around him to make sure he doesn't get you. And then when you try to come and build and come inside, he might blow both of you up. 
with a grenade or he might throw a boogie bomb at you or this it's just so many different outcomes that can happen when it comes to tower defense on top of gunplay it just makes it so much fun it, it's it's cool it's cool um and I, I like that fortnite has done a way to make themselves stand out because originally that building aspect was made for um for this, their save the world but now i get what clean price gaming is talking about i mean fortnite is essentially killing other games that deserve the spotlight um for, fortunately it didn't kill god of war god of war did incredibly well but god of war is arguably a better game than fortnite in terms of single player it's, it's a better overall product fortnite is like the call of duty of this generation in a way too it's like Really, you could say Fortnite is mixed with Call of Duty and Minecraft, you know, like it has that fast paced gameplay, um, but it has that PUBG type of closing out battle royale, and then it has the building aspect of Minecraft. So essentially, it's three games mixed in one, you know, and I, I think that's cool. Um, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's so, so Call of Duty, PUBG. Okay, Fortnite is basically Call of Duty, um, PUBG, and Minecraft mixed together in a way and just has its own different. It, it's really, it's a culture phenomenon too. And I think it's mixed with a lot of DNA of what's popular in society and entertainment as a whole also. I think that that's why a lot of rappers check it out. It, 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 and a lot of uh, entertainers and actors and stuff. It's so weird, man. It's it's so weird. Um, but clean price gaming, I see what you mean. You know, like it is growing in every direction, and I don't know where Fortnite is gonna take anyone. I don't know how long it's gonna last. It's gonna be like Call of Duty. They're gonna keep. Who knows if uh, they're they're gonna keep churning out updates, but it's still gonna stay the same and no real change. Cause it will burn out if they don't change it over time and evolve it. Um, but. I think Fortnite has a lot going for it. To say that it's killing games, I can see what you mean. But, uh, I mean, it didn't kill God of War. Um, there's a bunch of other games that didn't really kill. I mean, people still play Rainbow Six Siege. Um, I mean, it. it's so hard. I mean, people didn't kill Final Fantasy online. You know, people still play Final Fantasy uh, 14 online. And stuff like that. I mean, it... it it is killing a lot of games, I'm not gonna lie. It is making gamers actually not even buy real games. Like, I've seen people pay like 200 to $300 just to buy PSN cards so they can have cosmetic items in Fortnite. It's crazy. I'm guilty of this, I bought the Battle Pass. Um, I didn't get any, I didn't get too many cosmetic items. You gotta get V-Bucks. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I say the only thing it maybe it still hasn't beaten GTA 5. Uh, GTA 5, you know, is huge with, I mean, arguably you could say GTA 5 is a juggernaut too in terms of how they are getting a lot of cosmetic items. And then you have to, you have to buy the game to play the online component, whereas Fortnite is free. So arguably, I mean, Rockstar is kind of, you know, worse than Fortnite when it comes to how much money you're spending on GTA Online and then you have to buy the actual game. Now you can argue they did have a, a robust single player component because the story was good for GTA 5 so you know things like that but you know at the same time it's like oh you have these micro transactions or the, I wouldn't even call them micro transactions I would call them macro transactions because you know it's a, it's a macro transaction you know what I mean like if it's over if it's i feel like if it's over 10 to 15 dollars it's kind of not even a micro transaction anymore it's bigger than a micro transaction you know that that's just me i, I see micro transactions as 99 cents add-ons in mobile games a 15 dollar add-on in a triple a console game is not a micro transaction that is straight just downloadable content full of flesh it should be it's not full of fleshed up downloadable content it's just straight up many pockets of dlc on a high price 
and um, in, in a way you could say that that's the problem with V-Bucks. Um, the little currency system you buy points in NBA 2K18. 2K18 is fucking dead after Fortnite. Sports games, I don't even know if online sports games that have these cosmetic things. It's, I don't even know if they can fucking survive. Because uh, Fortnite is like making it fun to buy these cosmetic items. It's actually, you actually feel like it's valuable. You know, I know that sounds bad, but you actually feel like it's valuable to have a cool pickaxe in Fortnite. Now, I've bought the Battle Pass. I got to pick the, the shit like that. It's worth the money if you buy the Battle Pass. It's worth it to me. Instead of buying cosmetic items just for the sake of doing it. Um, I know people do, but uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. And uh, Clean Press Gaming, I hope you see this and you, you hear me out on why I think Fortnite is so popular and why it's killing games and also hear why I could not be killing some games. I kind of just rambled. I saw your video and I want to get in the community and give my take on it. So anyways, early days, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and as always, peace out.